the prefrontal cortex is a big chunk of real estate uh, in the front of our brain that, that engages in many different functions. Um, the prefrontal cortex is larger in humans relative to the rest of the brain mass than in any other species, and it probably has a lot to do with some of the uh, qualities of behavior that we regard as distinctively human, um, particularly the ability to plan for the future, to recollect from the past, uh, and so forth. These are qualities which um, uh, enable fantastic capability. They're also qualities that can ensnare us. They're, they're qualities that, um, that enable us to actually not be in the present moment uh, and probably are cause for great amounts of suffering. Um, the prefrontal cortex is also very involved in the regulation of emotion. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that um, uh, the ability or, or the likelihood of dysregulating emotion, uh, uh, another way to think about it is the incidence of psychopathology is much greater in humans than it is in any other species, probably because of the prefrontal cortex. So um, that's just by way of background, and we can then begin to ask questions about how different forms of meditation may impact prefrontal function. There are different territories of the prefrontal cortex that may be affected by um, different kinds of training, and uh, it's important to underscore the fact that research in this area is still very much in its infancy. And there's some research which indicates that there, um, that functional activity in certain regions of the prefrontal cortex is altered by meditation, uh, and both mindfulness meditation as well as compassion meditation appears to increase activity in this region. Uh, the um, uh, consequences of changes in this region include um, improvements in certain aspects of attention, for example, being able to selectively attend voluntarily to certain stimuli and ignore others, uh, and also uh, the capacity to focus our mind on wholesome qualities like compassion appear also to be, uh, particularly in the early stages of training, to be importantly dependent upon activation of the prefrontal cortex. So um, we have found that uh, in, in a variety of different studies that um, different kinds of meditation share in common uh, an impact on circuits involving the prefrontal cortex.